Yeah, it ain't very nice out there. Uh, what's happening? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, by the way, how the heck y'all doing today? Yeah, we're, uh, in hindsight, I guess maybe I should have filled the freaking cows right up, right fucking full yesterday, right? That didn't happen. Like you guys all, lots of you guys all saw it. We just kind of filled them up a little bit to get them through yesterday and then to push them to clean up a little better. That's what happened yesterday. So now here we are. The temperatures drop drastically and the wind is picked up and where it's snowing and it's blowing and it's supposed to get really goddamn cold like friggin daytime highs of like minus what was it I heard on the radio something about minus 20 with the wind chill uh, minus 26 tonight tomorrow the next day they're talking about daytime highs or nighttime uh, nighttime lows of minus 36 to 38 and yeah and here we are we need to get these animals fed that's what keeps them warm is lots of good feet so little red wasn't plugged in and now I had them plugged in for about an hour as I welded a crowd panel and uh, now he's finally fucking running, obviously, right? What the heck, Mocha? So, there. You can see the snow on the hood because Little Red was parked outside. Anywho, we're going to grab a bucket load of feed. We're going to get out there. We're going to fill one bunk. We'll grab that big portable bunk that we emptied out yesterday. We'll bring it home. And uh, we'll just continue to fill everybody right up. And then this afternoon, I'll probably end up doing a little bit of bedding inside the barn area uh, for the calves and then again for the bulls. So stay tuned, everybody. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. You gotta love these freaking uh, stormy days, eh? It's. Uh, yeah, she's blowing out here in the open. It's blowing. And that's the whole purpose of them there wind breaks that we make. Get them out and give the cows some protection. This is our last bucket load for out here for today. I'll probably come out here tomorrow and uh, check on them again. But, yeah, the wind is freaking blowing pretty good whipping that snow and dumping it all in places where you don't want it really to go. I'd much rather see it sitting on the ground instead of blowing away like this. But, what do you do? Just the way it is. We'll bring you guys back in a bit. Make sure you tie that closed, eh? <laughs> hey. Hey. A big old Canadian eye. Uh -huh. Come on, dog. Oh, he just got done bedding the barn down for the calves here. Watch what happens when we open this up. Woohoo! Playtime! Playtime! <laughs> and boys. There. They'll be happy for a week or two now. Lunchtime. No, we still gotta do with the bulls. Well, let's do it. Come on. Come on. Chop, chop. 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 <laughs> okay. I gotta get another bail for the bulls. We'll bring you guys back after. <laughs> what tuck? <laughs> you got your big head stuffed right in here. All right. 
There. Hey, boy. He's got his hay down there in the corner. I'm sure if I gave him the opportunity, that goofy shit would try crawling through that hole. That feed door hole. Right, Binford? And yeah, she's like almost 5 o'clock. Look at this. It's getting dark already for crying out loud here. And the temperature has really dropped. With the wind chill, it's minus 32 and dropping continuously. Friggin' ridiculous. <coughs> Boys are in the barn. Calves are all bedded down. They'll come in the barn, but I'm not locking them in the barn. You gonna put a blanket on her? Yeah. Yeah? <sighs> and special treatment for this one. You big suck. She doesn't want your blanket. She doesn't want you. <laughs> uh, some of the calves didn't even go outside to eat their grain when I fed them the grain. A couple of them stayed in here. They're saying, screw that. I'm staying here where it's warm. Can't say I blame them. But... We got that one on, so we got to put the red one on, tie it, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. How the heck y'all doing? I don't know if I should be saying good morning. Maybe I should just say morning. My goodness, she's a cool one this morning. Right now, uh, we're 9.30 a.m. It's minus 23 Celsius with the wind chill minus 34 at, well, what the hell was that, 6 o'clock-ish? Uh, it was minus 38. With the wind chill. It too goddamn cold. I'm not ready for this kind of stuff yet. Uh, God darn hose on the tank doesn't even want to flex. Uh, so, little rat started, though. He was inside the shop overnight and he was plugged in, so he fired right up, no problems. We got a little bit of feeding to do this morning. And uh, I don't know how much stuff we're actually gonna do today. We'll look after the animals, we'll make sure they're looked after good and proper, but other than that, that might be it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get some fuel in Little Red here and uh, we'll bring you guys back a little bit later. Alrighty guys, how the heck y'all doing this morning? Yeah, it's still cold, but it's not as cold. It's uh, definitely warmed up. If the temperature didn't warm up, what definitely did happen was the wind kind of went away for a few days. So that's always nice. But what are we doing? Well, we're in big blue, you can see the hood there. And we're going to try out this Bale Pro. Now there's a couple things I could do. One, I was going to get all brand new flails for it. And there's a company here in Saskatchewan that makes flails. And they're relatively reasonably priced, like $24 a piece. Uh, but they're the wrong size. They're 3 quarter inch by 7 inch and mine are half by six and a quarter so those won't necessarily work now there's another option of getting all brand new flails out of Jiffy Rem manufacturing out of Lacombe Alberta they're the new Jiffy builders anyways um, there's now for the upgraded version, so to speak. I don't know if it's upgraded or not, but uh, the, the flail with the bushing, no bolt, just the bushing, is now, what the hell did he say? Basically 46 bucks. <coughs> and it's only half inch thick steel by six and a quarter. 
so what I'm gonna see if see how it shreds out these uh, bales that we just made this fall the two that I've got on board here at this point are uh, barley straw and there's just a hint of slew hay mixed in them and I'm just gonna shred them out regardless right the cows can nibble through that slew hay and whatnot that we shred out as a bedding and we'll go from there anyway I'll bring you guys back when we get out there let's see what happens talk to you then all right well, we're out here. And, uh, oh, there it goes. She's definitely working a lot better now. They're all still built basically the same god darn way. It's a rocking table, rocking cradle, and they just rock back and forth. And uh, that's what feeds the bale into the shredder, into the shredder rotor evenly. to turn around and head back the other direction. Yeah, they're going to dig through that straw and slew hay mix and pick out all the slew hay, which is fine. I don't really care. Bale number two. And bale number two. Do I cut the twine off the bales? No. Let me tell you, using this thing, it sure makes uh, putting your straw down a whole hell of a lot easier than uh, with a pitchfork and it's a lot easier than if you were to do it with the front end loader of a tractor you get a nice more even bed down area the straw is all laid out there nice and fluffed up nice for them and so much better this way Okay, I'm gonna finish this off and I'll bring you guys back after. We'll probably grab another bale or two even for them. Alrighty guys, so for this go around with these two bales, these are like, what the heck are these now? I guess if you count this fall, fall of 2022, these would be three year old bales. 
They're not very nice friggin' bales. The mice have chewed the twines on them really bad. They're kind of busted up. They're just... But they work good for straw yet, for bedding straw. So, let's see what the heck this machine will do with these friggin' things. These are the bales, same bales that I was having all kinds of trouble with there a couple weeks ago when we were putting straw down. I didn't record it. I was just grumbling and groaning about how it was shredding out. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have trouble with these ones or not, but I'll let you know when we get out there, right? Talk to you in a bit. Okay, well, she seems to be working all right, shredding these guys out. There is a few dead spots as it rocks back and forth, but not too bad. I got a cow right in front of me that wants to lay down and eat. She's gonna have to get up and move. There she's getting up. Go on, girl, get out of the road. Like that straw on that three year old straw, you can see how yellow that is still on the inside of the bale. There's nothing wrong with that straw. The outside edge of the bale is kind of shitty, frozen and black and garbage type but the inside part of the bale once you get four or five inches into them bales it's pretty freaking nice stuff yet we got one more bale after this one and then we're all done for the straw and then it's just to fill the bunks up. Good enough. For that bale, good enough. Our hunting CP's hunting shack is just out that way. You can kinda sorta make it out out there. Right there. Okay guys, I'm gonna get turned around here and we gotta get that other bale in there. Some of the cows went to the yard for water. Some are hanging out here. They're tired from all the nasty weather we've had over the last couple days. They just wanna lay down and have a snooze. And I can't say as I blame them. But I'll let you guys go for now and we'll bring you back when I'm done. Talk to you then. You can see all the green from that slough hay over here. The cows aren't really hungry. They're not even touching it. They just want to lay down. This bale is wanting to hang up a little bit. The god darn thing. I don't know why they do that every once in a while. I think it's a jiffy issue. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. There, bunks are all filled up. And straws all put down, a few of them are laying down. And so, happy cows now. Anywho, I think we're good enough for enough time for you guys this go round. Uh, there you got her. 
Shred and straw with the Jiffy Bale Pro 900. And cold freaking weather. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. Don't forget to give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you all later.